I'm going to cover the the material that's in uh, this chapter, Wiki uh, Application Development. I'll do it um, one section at a time. The overview is uh, just uh, reading material. There's no actions to take in there. So I'm going to begin with uh, the project creation section. So the task at hand is to create a new project called Wiki using a procedure that's similar to the one that we used when we created website and publisher. So let's get started with that. There's a lot to do uh, for this little bit of uh, description. So I have Eclipse started up and I'm going to uh, create a new project, Java project. Project name will be Wiki. Click Next and here the um, let's take a look at this the default output folder shall be something other than bin it'll be wiki slash web dash inf uh, slash classes so this is the folder in which compiled source code is um, placed you know, the bytecode and uh, let's go and look at uh, the library section. We'll add a, um, a library. Let's add an external jar. Here I am located in the distribution of Tomcat that we're using. If you go into the lib folder and select servlet-api.jar, that's that and uh, I think that's about it. Let's just hit finish on that. Uh, now we're going to um, oh this WebINF folder is not in the right position actually. I made an error there so I'm going to have to fix that. WebINF should be under a folder called web. That's the pattern that we're using so Let's let's go ahead and create a, a new folder, and this is going to be called web. And under web, we'll create another folder <coughs> called uh, web-inf. So now I'm correcting a, a mistake. I put this in the wrong location. I don't want to delete that right away because. Um, it's in the class path. So I'm going to create another folder under actually we don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and right click on the wiki project, go to properties I think or build path, here it is. Let's configure the build path. This is the screen that we saw when we first created the project. As you can see the default output folder is down here. We want to insert the web folder in between here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we can delete the old uh, web INF folder. There we go. Okay. <coughs> if we look here, let's look at the, this is the deployment, uh, it's not the deployment descriptor, but it's the um, the uh, the context element that we use to deploy the application. So I'm going to copy the publisher.xml um, context element. So let me copy that, and I'm going to paste that into the wiki project. I'm going to take a look at that. Actually, it's called publisher. Let's rename that right off the bat here. Let's call that um, let's call that wiki. Actually, the name is uh, is important, so that would be under to rename that. I believe it's under it's under refactor. Here it is, refactor, rename. It's not publisher XML. Let's call it uh, wiki.xml. 
and if we look at the contents you'll see the path should be slash wiki not slash publisher and these things are going to change in a similar way is the data source username will make it to wiki password will make that wiki this is for the database uh, connection and the database name is not publisher the database name will be wiki so this uh, this configures the the data source which is our basically our, our connection to the um, to the database that we need to create. So there'll be a folder uh, for the database. This is the name we gave it in the other other applications. As you can see, there's the database there. Also, this SRC um, folder, and the instructions here, it talks about the log4j uh, properties file. So let's get that set up. I'm going to copy this, and that's under SRC directly, so I'll paste it in here, and uh, let's modify that. So the file, this is the file that the logs will be written to, so rather than calling it publisher.log, we'll call it wiki.log and uh, down here this um, this attribute here should be we should use the wiki that's the top level package name that's in the package names that we'll be using for our packages so all of our packages will begin with wiki wiki.web and uh, wiki.data and so on the rest of the information is is okay let's save that And um, here we have uh, the database creation scripts. Let's go ahead and, and copy those. I'll paste those in there. Let's see if I mentioned anything about. So here's the database creation. Here it has the details on that. So let's wait on that. Let's check to see, is there anything else we need to do? We have the SRC, this business, so I think we're, we're all set there at this point. Let's, let's continue on. So in this, uh, this subsection, I'm uh, talking about uh, what to do here. And uh, here's, the, um, here's the SQL command to create uh, table called page. I'm just going to copy that. And let's go ahead and uh, look. Here's the here's the, um, the create DB. Uh, we will not have a user table. We'll just have a, t a page table. I believe. Is that right? Hmm. I think so. This is our um, our page table. This is the sequence table. We're going to keep that. So this table here will store the pages of the wiki. So here's a field called content. It's of type text. This is a field called name. That's the page name. It's a varchar 255. This is a an int called published, which is will be a used as a boolean value so it'll be 0 or 1 we'll s assign it a default value of 0 when we create when we insert a row and don't specify the published field the published ID is um, also here as a string and um, this will be used to um, uh, uh, to link to the news feed so I'll talk about that later that's published uh, field here in the published ID it, with the, the the pages in the wiki will be a published select pages from the wiki will be published in the news feed application 
these two fields are related to to that okay now let me close that so here's the clean DB we would need to uh, drop the table called um, called page and uh, we'll need to drop the sequence table as well here's um, here's some uh, SQL commands to uh, insert sample data here's uh, in the text we have some some uh, sample data the insert commands let's grab those So here we insert into page the um, the name field, the content field. We paste in the we insert the the values. Well, let's see, it's a it's a the name is an empty string, and here's the content. It's uh, an HTML a string, and uh, this terminates the insert command right there. It's gonna make it look like that if we wanted to. No, I'm sorry, that's the, this values, that terminates um, this, uh, this values specifier. So this is the first argument, and uh, this would be the second argument. And this would be the where values is terminated, so we could do it, we could do it like that. So let's do the same thing for the next uh, the next line. Once again, this is sample data. Uh, the next here's a page. It's called the hello page, and this is the content of the hello page. I don't know if this is more clear or not, but this is another way to look at it. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, drop those. Now we'll, we'll need to create the um, the database, and as you can see in here, I have the commands to do that. Create database wiki. Grant all privileges on wiki dot star. That means the stars it matches against tables in the wiki database. So grant all privileges on all the tables of the wiki database to wiki at localhost so a user named wiki who logs who connects through the local host from the local host and provides a password that equals one two three four so let's go ahead and, and do that I'll need to start up um, the uh, terminal window I need to get that under accessories that's how I get it command prompt so uh, mysql minus u root minus password root and uh, let's go ahead and I cannot connect that's because mysql is not running so let's get that let's get that to run and uh, we go into here program files mysql and uh, bin and it's mysql d it's for daemon there it is dot exe just double click on that all right that's running now we'll try this now we're in let's create database wiki and just to save time I'm gonna copy that line right there This creates the um, this uh, creates the user uh, called wiki that connects from the local host. I paste that in there. That's good. I'll leave that open for now. We're going to want to test uh, the the database creation scripts. We'll just close that. Also, before I forget, this context element down here. Um, I didn't have the right password. We we're s we set the password to one two three four. So I'm going to change that here. All right.
And, uh, alright, so let's see, oh, we, we need to check this uh, build.xml file. And the project name here is uh, wiki, not publisher. So the user is wiki, the password is 1234, the database is called wiki, and that's it. Everything else is the same, just those connection parameters are different. Let's go ahead and run them. Let's run this. So let's uh, run ant build dot dot dot, and it's going to run the all target, that's fine. And uh, let's click on debug. We're running it in debug mode. It's better unblock that. Let's take a look at the result. Looks like uh, it worked. But let's verify that. Let's use the wiki database and um, show tables, page and sequence, and then select uh, star from page. There's the data. There's two items in there. So we got the uh, the databases created. We can get out of there. And that's it for um, this section.